Hey everyone, welcome back to Spark Plug Tech. Today, we're diving into a fundamental concept in electrical engineering, resistors in series and parallel. By the end of this video, you'll know how these configurations work and how they impact circuit behavior. So, let's get started. Resistors are one of the most common components in any electrical circuit. Depending on how we connect them, they behave differently. Two key ways to connect resistors are in series and in parallel. Let me explain how these configurations work and then simulate them using Tinkercad. First, let's talk about resistors in series. When resistors are connected in series, the current flows through each resistor sequentially. The total resistance is the sum of the individual resistances. Here's the formula. For example, if we have two resistors, one with 500 ohms and the other with 300 ohms, the total resistance is 500 plus 300, which equals 800 ohms. Now, let's simulate this. As you can see, the current is the same through both resistors, and the total resistance adds up. Next, we have resistors in parallel. In this configuration, the current splits and flows through each resistor separately. The total resistance is calculated using this formula. For example, if we have two resistors of 100 ohms each, the total resistance is less than either of the resistors. Plugging into the formula, we get 1 divided by 100 plus 1 divided by 100, which equals 2 divided by 100, or 50 ohms. In the simulation, you can see how the current divides and the total resistance is lower. So, here's what you need to remember. In series, resistances add up and the current is the same through all resistors. In parallel, the total resistance is less than the smallest resistor and the current divides among the branches. These configurations are everywhere in real life, from string lights to home wiring systems. That's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Spark Plug Tech for more tutorials and tips. Also, let me know in the comments what you'd like to learn next. See you in the next video.